Today I've got some old hard disks and one of these devices to power a hard disk from a computer. The computer's over there through the USB. Here's the power supply that will actually run the uh, supply the 12 volts to the drive. Let's take a look at a hard disk. I've made this video before in low definition. Let's do it again in high definition. This is the inside part of the hard disk. There's the uh, head right here that does the read write. And this is the spindle. The disk will turn around like this. It will go in this direction. The head will move in and out like this. Back here is uh, the magnetic motor, the linear motor that will move the head back and forth depending on the commands from the uh, hardware. There's a lock over here that when the disc is spinning it will unlock the head so it allows the head to move and this is how the head uh, is prevented from moving when the disc is, is not being used and also keeps the uh, head from scratching the disc. Also while the disc is spinning like this there's air rotating around and that's what causes this to unlock. But another function of that air spinning around is it goes down through this little channel over here and gets any particles get trapped in this little filter right there. Once you've opened a hard disk like this even one tiny bit of dust ruins it so this disk is forever shot. But uh, it should still give us some amusing uh, views on how the, how the disk works. Okay, let's power it up. We'll see the disc go through a little bit of searching and that'll probably assume a, a neutral position in the middle of the disc here somewhere. And on shutdown you can see it parks itself to the inside before the disc stops turning. When the disc is turned off the head goes into this park position. Sometimes they park on the outside, sometimes they park on the inside. And when the head is parked this little device over here locks the, the head. And the air spinning around with the disc, the disc is spinning around this way. The air friction will cause this to unlock the head. So that's how it knows to release the head when the disc is actually spinning and not before. 